and gentlemen, this is Scott Golden back on championship court day one. This is men's and women's pro singles. We just saw the second semifinal of the day for the men's open pro. Winner of that one advanced on to play against Ben Johns, world number one. That happened to be Tyson McGuffin in a close 11-9 final in game three. Congrats to Tyson McGuffin as he will play in singles uh, on Sunday, in, on Championship Sunday against, like I said, Ben Johns. Next up, as you see on the court warming up, world number one female player in the world, Simone Jargim, going to do battle with one of her close friends, Catherine Parento. Catherine just took down Callie Smith earlier. Let's take a look at the bracket and see where these ladies came from to get to where they are. No surprise, Simone Jargim got a bye in the first round. Then she went on to beat Christy Chargot, 11-4, 11-2. And now she's squaring off against Catherine Parento, who took down, like I said, Callie Smith in the first round. Leah Jansen beat Annalie Waters in two games, 15, 13, 12, 10. She's sitting in the finals waiting on the winner of Catherine Parento and Simone Jargim to see who she's going to play. Remember, this is a new format at the pro level. They are not able to come back after a loss and recover to play for a gold so whoever wins this one will play for gold against Leah Jansen. Whoever loses will play for the bronze. And all championship matches will be held on Sunday, what we're calling Championship Sunday. Catherine looks like she's going to be serving for first. We've got Julie Scott, Kyle Yates' mom, doing the match for this championship court showdown, if you will. Simone looking sharp in her attire. I don't know what brand she wears, but it, lo it does look good on her. It's a nice bright color. She's got bright pink Nike shoes on pink visor and a pink wristband to go with it. And Catherine Printo toning it down just a little bit with her black and white. And here we go. Catherine's two in the back end missing wide there. That is precision at its best as Simone rolls her two in the back end past Catherine Parento. Side out. Nice shot there. Simone with the nod to Catherine Parento. Score is one to two.
that's great execution there from Catherine Parento. She didn't hit that overhead super hard, but she was able to play the next ball with some finesse and move it around. Simone not able to get to it. Score is one to two, once again. Tying it up 2-2. Two, two. Oh my goodness. That was insane. That ball down the line from Catherine Parento. Simone thought she was going to roll the ball and anticipated it. But Catherine rolling that ball down, the, I mean, taking that ball down the sideline instead of cross court. Good hustle there from Simone, but unable to keep it inbounds. Catherine looking very sharp early here against world number one, Simone Jargim. Don't expect Simone to go anywhere. It's not uncommon for Simone to drop a game in a set, but she rarely misses an opportunity to close out a game three. So we'll see how this unfolds as early Catherine Printo looking very sharp. And just as I say that, she puts the forehand third shot into the net. Scores 5-2 after a hold from Parento. Six two. Nice, nice passing shot from Simone Jargim. Catherine Printo looking very strong right now in game one against number one, Simone Jargin. That ball almost landed. It looked like it was going to go way out. It was a little closer than what I thought it would be. Two six, I believe. Making a move here, two points in a row as she slaps her side. Four six. All right, six four. We've got a good little rhythm going here. Seven four. A three point early lead in game one. Both these ladies executing their shot with precision. Simone getting the better end of that exchange.
Oh boy, that is a great shot by Catherine Parinto. As Simone mistimed that just a little bit. Giving it a, a four point advantage now to Catherine Parinto. I think Simone knew she missed that serve right away. It's now 9-4. Boy, that is really well played. Simone, thinking the game was over there, started walking to the net, and Julie, the referee, informed her it was just 10-4. So a timeout called by Simone Jargine. This is Scott Golden back after this 60-second hydration break. We'll see you soon. I got your new paddle. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um... Could you sign it? Yeah, I signed all those. That's not your signature. Um, that is indeed my signature. But I did not see you sign it myself, personally. Okay. Maybe just a... All right, this is Scott Golden back after that 60 second Hydration break brought to you by Jigsaw Health. And Catherine Printo in a commanding lead at 10-4, serving it out. And there it is. Game one in the books. 11-4 final of that game one. They're going to take a quick break. I think they get two minutes between games. And then they're going to come back and do battle once again. We're going to see how this goes. Simone not looking quite herself in game one. Catherine Printo, I'm sure, happy to have a game up on the world number one female player in the world. Simone Jarchim. Athena giving a little bit of coaching or advice to Catherine Printo as she gets ready to do battle in game two. Simone looks like she's gonna be serving from that side first. The wind will be slightly in her face, blowing in that direction, and Catherine Printo has the wind behind her back. And here we go. That's a nice ball by Simone Jarchine there. Simone looks like she's going to retire. I think she's just tired. I think that's the exchange that I heard, that Simone's just tired. She's not going to be able to finish. Singles is just not in her agenda this week. She's going to pull out. Looks like Catherine Parento is going to be able to move on. You hate to see that from a spectator viewership standpoint, but... She is human, Simone Jarjim, taking care of herself and her body, recognizing she's got a long weekend ahead of her. We're gonna take a break. This is Scott Golden here at the 2021 PPA Atlanta Open Tour Stop. We'll be back to the action soon. <laughs> 